What are you doing? Fixing the uh, light bulb. Fixing the light bulb. This Making is wow. Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at him go. Team. He made it. We were racing the monorail, and now there's turkeys running across the road. So I think the monorail won this one. Thank you. Hello. We just realized that mom needs a birthday button because her birthday was yesterday. And she was literally born a day before Magic Kingdom opened. Today is October 1st, 2020, which means that it is Magic Kingdom's 49th birthday. So, a happy birthday, Magic Kingdom. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We were kind of planning to go to Epcot today, but then we realized that it was Magic Kingdom's birthday. We're like, uh, duh, let's go to Magic Kingdom. So that's where we're off to right now. Something that's different since the last time I was here, for security, if your bag goes off and you're going to the metal detector, because now you walk through with your bag on. Last time I was here, they would kind of have you open your bag up and show what's inside. Like, they were not allowed to touch it, so I thought. They didn't even, like, open it. Like, they didn't touch anything. When we went, my mom's bag went off through the metal detector, and this woman just comes over and She's touching everything and opening pockets and stuff and I was just like a little confused because that's not what was happening last time. I don't know, it's like a little it's like a little weird. She didn't have gloves on or anything. A lot of the other security people had gloves on. It wasn't like she put a fresh pair of gloves on and then went through my mom's bag like you don't know what she touched. She's just sticking her hands in my mom's bag like touching everything. I just thought it was a little weird. I'm like they didn't do that last time. in the Emporium, they have all of their Halloween things up. you guys but I have not seen these yet and these are so adorable the bags socks leggings cups everything baby Yoda in the Emporium all right so I think we might be eating at this place I'm not sure what it's called I'll go check right now skipper canty Skipper Canty, I guess that, I guess that's what it's called. Yeah. 
Oh. <laughs> the line starts here for a splash and it goes all the way down there. Oh, there's Eric. Hey. It is so long. An hour. No, this is an hour. It is quite a line for this ride. So we're just gonna head to the gift shop and see if there's any merch. This is the only thing that's Splash Mountain in this whole entire store. They do have a ton of cute cups that I've never seen before and I just spotted this Jungle Cruise one that I really, really like. So it has a Jungle Cruise skipper and it talks about the backside of water. And then there it is. Oh yeah, it says right there. The backside. So you don't need to put your hands in front of the camera when I'm trying to. All right, so I just bought this mask. And this one that says boo. All right, it's dinner time. All right, let's try this new cruise. This is our mess hall. So let's use the mess in Jungle Skipper Canteen. And I want to show you our highlights. Those are our highlights right there. Nice. Got some more down there, some more way down there. Nice. By the way, why can't pirates recite the whole alphabet? Why can't pirates recite the whole alphabet? Um, um, I don't know. You're going to kick yourself. Pirates? I'll let you know, they get stuck in the seas. All right, so we just sat down at our table and I had no idea what to expect here because it's our first time here, but I love it because some of you guys know I love Jungle Cruise and all of like the waiters and waitresses are like Jungle Cruise skippers. They joke with you the whole time. It's literally like you're being served by Jungle Cruise skippers. I didn't even know that. I had no idea. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I had no idea what kind of place this was. And I thought that it was like different kind of food that I like wouldn't really like. But then like me and my mom were like, you know what, let's just try something new. It's it smells really good and I'm super excited to eat. We walked in, they took us to walk in and it only took maybe like 20, 30 minutes. It was from the time that we came here, left your name, and we went back to the Splash Mountain store. And then what we came back here. What else say when the doctor asked you to say, ah? Uh, I can't. I was just gonna say that. No, I'm serious. I was gonna do, but I didn't want to sound like that. <laughs> so they don't have any like cocktails here really. They have like wine and beer and stuff. But there was one, besides the sangria, they only have one other cocktail. And it's called the Jungle Navigation Co. Shandy. And it's Blue Moon mixed with Simply Lemonade, which I don't know how it's gonna taste. I asked her and she said that it's like very sweet. So yeah, mom's gonna try it first. Mom's trying it first. Is it good? Does it it's taste weird? It, it tastes like both. Exactly. Really? Yeah, it's both. You can taste the blue moon and wow. Okay, so on the kids menu there's like a crispy chicken. It's like plain crispy chicken, I think. That's boneless, thank God. And me and Eric got the same thing. We got the same meal with all the same sides. What sides do we get? Broccoli and chicken and rice. And rice. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. This kind of looks like a mango, but smells like, like a pony and a I think that's what it's like. It tastes like a short hamburger that's like lemon. There you go. That's what it tastes like. So this drink that Eric is drinking is basically pog juice with mango puree, which is pretty cool because it's like pogum, pogum juice. So it's called the Punchline Punch. That's what Eric is drinking. If you guys come here and you want to try. I'm so hungry, I can't wait to eat. Even though that's really all we came to Magic to do. All right, me and Eric literally got the same meal. Mom, what'd you get? I got, well, it's Pad Thai, but it's chicken. Yeah. And you got the spicy stuff on the side because apparently it's super, super spicy, so. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. I'm gonna try it. Good. Yes, boss. They're doing dishes up there, right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so we're sitting down eating, and you guys are never gonna believe who we just ran into. <laughs> Lou Mangiello yet again! I swear I am not stalking you. Yeah, right? right? Not actively, but not anymore, but I'm not, I swear I'm not stalking you. That food's so good! Delicious. This is a coconut bar. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Fake blow out the candle. Woo! -hoo. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. All right, so this is the coconut bar that's on their dessert menu, and then 
This is their chocolate. It's like a lava cake kind of thing, right? Yeah, I think she said like a volcano. Volcano, mm -hmm. Eric. So this door, well, this bookcase, what is it actually? It's actually a door. A door. It would close this gap right here. This is another room that they have. And then back here is another one. And then I think this is where we started. Yes, it is. They're cleaning our table. Yep. So mommy and I came to the conclusion that every time I come, we're gonna have to try something new. Thank you. So we wanna try something new every time I come, like a new restaurant or a new whatever. Look at this duck. So we're leaving Adventureland area and we're literally the only ones here. There's literally nobody else in here at all. There's people by the castle, but I think they've kind of like pushed everybody out of all the other areas and everybody's in like the hub area now. So this is the little straw topper that goes on mom's cup. I love it. So since we arrived to the park a little on the later side, because this guy had school, we spoke to Lou Mangello, who was here earlier in the day, and we asked him if they did anything for Magic Kingdom's birthday, and he said no. We thought that there'd be something that we missed, but we didn't miss anything. It makes sense because they didn't want a reason to draw more crowds, have more people, have the park reach capacity, and then there's people that are upset that they didn't get to get here and for their birthday. All right, we just took some photos in front of the castle. All the lights are on down Main Street. Eric is running around. He thinks he's Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey, Sonic, what's up? Mm. All right, so the park is closed now. We literally got done eating after the park was closed. So we didn't get to ride any rides today, but that's okay, because we're coming back Sunday. We're gonna do like a full day of parks. This was kind of like last minute. We were just like, oh my gosh, it's Magic Kingdom's birthday. Like, let's go. Sunday, no one has school, so we're gonna come here nice and early-ish. Early? Yeah. Earlier, let's say earlier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because we want to do lots of rides and that's our only other Magic Kingdom day. Okay, so we were just saying that we had no idea where Eric is. What are you doing? <laughs> so as we were passing the lovely barber shop over there that I used to get my undercut buzzed at, it reminded me that I'm no longer, I don't have it anymore. It's getting so long. Look how long it is. That's my undercut now. I decided to grow it back out. I want all my hair the same length. Beautiful night, beautiful sunset. Okay, so we're now at the Polynesian. Morgan just heading to the bathroom. We're about to go get some Dole Whip after when Morgan's done with the bathroom. Right about there. We go get Dole Whip. So we're just hanging out in Polynesian. If you didn't know from the previous, like, in, like the daytime, it's Disney's birth birthday. And Mom's birthday is right before Disney was, like, May, like, release. Well, that's, um, release is, like, when a game comes out. But that's why I'm wearing this Mickey Mouse shirt right there. That's about it. So we're at the Polynesian now. We're doing a little bit of shopping. And we came to get some Dole Whip because we just got like little desserts at the restaurant and we shared them all. Look at how cute this little friend of Duffy is. They have so much merchandise. They have washcloths, they have keychains, they have luggage tags, they have little like stuffed animal wallet pouch kind of things, backpacks with the little zipper. Look, look at that face. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at how adorable. What flavor is that? Lime. Ooh. Yep. How does it taste, bud? Yeah. Good. <laughs> Had it before? Yeah. I cannot wait to eat this. How is it? I'm having lime. You like the lime, right? Yeah. I'm an lime. You got lime and vanilla, right? Yeah. Eric is the only person <laughs> watching the movie. Alright, stay there and then I'm gonna flip it. Or you jump in, jump in. Ready? After I say it. 